I'll be reading you a story from a book that I used to really love as a kid. Now this book is in Dutch, but I'll translate for you. It is called The Penguin Who Didn't Enjoy the Cold. Here, we see the penguin on the front, warming his hands above the fire. He doesn't like the cold very much. Now you might notice that this book is not in English. It's actually in Dutch, but I'll translate as we go along. And here we see the penguin warming his hands above the fire. Let's start. So, there was once a penguin whose name was Pablo. He lived on an iceberg in the South Pole, and it was always cold. Now, penguins like the cold, but most penguins like the cold. Pablo didn't. Penguins like swimming and diving, and they like catching fish in the ice-cold water, but Pablo didn't. Pablo was the only penguin on his iceberg who didn't like the cold. All the other penguins went skiing. See him going over the mountain? And they went skating together. And they played the whole day at the beach of snow. But not Pablo. We see him here collecting some wood. What could he be using all the wood for? Pablo stayed inside close to the warm furnace. He took his little flippers and held them close to the fire. It's cold, said Pablo. It's very cold. One day, Pablo said, it is strange to not like the cold. I'm gonna go somewhere where it's nice and warm. So he took two skis, tied them to his feet, and put the furnace on his back so he would stay warm the entire ride over. Goodbye, birds, he said to the other penguins. Wish me luck. And here we see Pablo leaving the iceberg. But oh no, something went wrong. The furnace was too heavy and pulled him backwards. Pablo went the wrong way. He went down the hill faster and faster. He was riding right towards the bottom of the hill. Suddenly, Pablo was hanging upside down with his skis holding him above the iceberg. See how he's stuck there between two icebergs? His two skis are saving him. Now that was not a good idea, said the other penguins. Poor Pablo was completely frozen. They had to drag him back to his igloo. See, he's completely frozen straight. Then they held him underneath the warm shower until he could walk again. The next day, Pablo had a different idea, and he tied warm hot water bags to his feet to keep his feet warm, and he put them inside his jacket to keep his chest warm. He also put them around his neck to keep his neck warm. Goodbye, birds, said Pablo. This time, nothing will go wrong. But something did go wrong. When Pablo was standing still just for a moment to look at his map, the warm water began to melt the snow and he sank and sank and sank into the ice cold water. Poor Pablo, said the other penguins. He'll never get anywhere. They had to drag him out of the water, though he was completely frozen like a block of ice and they dragged him back home. Luckily, the ice melted quickly because of Pablo's hot furnace. The next day, Pablo said, I have an even better idea and it's gonna work. I'm gonna go by boat. And he grabbed his saw and he sawed a big chunk of ice around his house loose. Inside his little igloo on his boat, Everything was perfect. The furnace was in his place and his bathtub too. Everything was perfect. All the penguins on the iceberg came to wave goodbye when Pablo was raising the sail to his ship. The boat sailed further and further and further through the snow and the mist along all the other icebergs. 
Day and night went by, and Pablo kept on sailing further. One morning when he woke up, he saw the sun and it was shining brightly. Finally, it was warm. It worked, called Pablo. He went to go lie down in the warm sun. Wow, what a wonderful life, he said to himself. He pulled off his warm clothing and enjoyed himself. But he celebrated too quickly because the warm sun was beginning to melt his house, his igloo, and his boat as well. Oh no, he was only standing on a tiny piece of ice. Quickly, he jumped into the bathtub. Oh no, but there was a hole in the bottom of the bath and it began to fill and fill and fill with water. Pablo had to act quickly and try and empty the bathtub before it filled up too much. Then he had an idea. He took the pipe of the shower and put it in the hole. Then, instead of the water coming into the bathtub, it went through the shower head and propelled him forward. The boat was going forward in full force, and in the distance Pablo saw a distant land with palm trees. His bathtub landed on the beach, and Pablo left. Everywhere were palm trees and banana trees. He went up to the banana tree and began to snack. This looks like a good place to build a house, he said to himself, and he collected a bunch of different sticks to build his house. Finally, Pablo had the life he had always dreamed of. For him, it was never going to be cold again. Yay, we finished the book. Thank you for reading with me, guys. We finished the book. We read all about Pablo, who didn't like the cold, and who thought of some good ideas to sail far away and find the land that he liked. I'll see you guys next circle time. Bye!